an update on the Endurance 2022 expedition. On the 21st of February 2022, as the St Gullus, the icebreaker, was travelling through the ice of the Antarctica, temperatures suddenly dropped late in the evening. The ice thickened quickly and the crew woke up in the morning to temperatures minus 10 and it became soon apparent that the icebreaker had been entirely frozen in. The SA St. Angustus now had a dilemma. It had to free itself urgently. Everyone on board couldn't even imagine that with today's high technology and such a ship with a thousand horsepower could find itself frozen in. History has repeated itself and just shows how remote and dangerous the Antarctic has remained. So how did the captain and the crew break free in hours when Ernest Shackleton was unable to do so? Well, it comes down to technology and a well-built ship. It has a huge operating crane which can swing large objects. And fortunately for the ship, it has a helicopter. The crew and the captain fought swiftly and used the crane to rock the helicopter side by side, eventually pushing the ship and breaking free. Fortunately, with the crew's knowledge and the captain's experience came into hand. It took only hours for a thousand horsepower to remove itself out of a frozen situation to continue its destination to find the endurance of Ernest Shackleton's ship. An experienced captain, once again going to the Antarctic, just like Frank Woolsey, has managed to save the crew from a frozen situation. Subscribe and like for further updates on the Endurance Expedition.